So, in this video, I'm going to show you how to open an Xbox 360. Uh, here's my Xbox 360. And all you need are a Torx screwdriver. It has to have a Torx 10 and a Torx 8 bits. Um, an opening tool sure helps. I got one off the internet for pretty cheap, like 3 bucks or something. And like a really tiny flathead screwdriver. You can't really see it that well, but it's a flathead, super tiny. So, uh, first, we open up, we take off this faceplate. It just pops right off. You can grab it from like this little flap. It just pops right off. And then, this top panel thing. If you look closely inside, there's three clips on each side of the top and the bottom, three on this side, three on this side, so on so on. So you're just gonna pop open those three. The front left on the top always gets me, so I just sometimes like pop it open by force. Right like that. And then the other ones just clip off. Um sorry it's not to see. There you go. And now two more. There we go. And there we go. The top little panel thing comes right off. And on the other side, same thing. There's three on this side, three on that side. So the first the front two pop out pretty easily. I didn't even have to do anything. Then the next one, I popped out one of them and then it came out. Like both came out. Then the next one just popped out. So the bottom's usually a lot easier. So then now you see that there's like four little clips using the skinny flat head again. I'm just gonna. Pop out these four clips. Alright, so now it kind of like flops open a little bit. So now we're going to use the opening tool. Just going to take it out. So you can see there's five little pins on this side and then two on this side. It's because on the back of it there's five holes and two holes you just stick the tool in there so that it fits I usually do the five ones first because they're harder to do so I do them first just kind of lift this front part open push down and like no it didn't seem to work I'll try it again just pop them out separates. Do the same thing to the other side, but, but now with the two pins. There we go. And this lid thingy comes right off. Okay. Huh. So this Xbox, I was already working on it. So the screws were missing. Let me just put those in really quick. I'm going to show you. Alright. So I was working on this Xbox earlier, that's why these were missing. But normally, these six long screws are in there. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there, and one there. These are the ones that hold the mother, or like hold the bottom plate onto this metal thing. So, normally they're not already out. These are the ones that you use Torx 10 screws. Uh, screw bits on. You just unscrew them. I fashioned it into my electric drill so it's a lot easier to. Just super fast. But yeah. So let's say you unscrew these. I already did. And now this plate just clips right off 
and now we have access to the DVD drive. So if you're doing any DVD drive flashing, this is as far as you have to go. This is why I'm splitting this video into two parts. Um, if you want to go any further, it's usually to like fix the red ring of death, something like that. So part one, which this is the like this is it. You can take out the DVD drive. There's a serial ATA data cable and a power cable. Just unplug both. There you go. Your drive is ready to get modded. And if you want to see how to go deeper in, watch part two. Um, that's how you're going to be able to fix the red rings.